when going through the process of spiritual awakening, sooner or later we are confronted with the fact, that there seem to be more dimensions than the one reality we are living in and that we know so well. We start questioning our life and what used to be true for us all of a sudden starts crumbling. We are not so sure anymore if we are indeed living in a reality or if it is not so real after all. The higher dimensional energies are calling us. We start resonating with them and go on our quest to find out more about who we truly are. We learn about universal energies and different frequencies and what ascension truly means, an energetic shift from 3D to 5D by raising our frequencies to a much higher level, and transmuting low frequencies of fear into unconditional love, up to a point where no fear is left. We come across a lot of information and are learning a lot about ourselves, the universe, and humanity. A question that often keeps us busy is how to differentiate between the dimensions. To understand the different dimensions and how they feel like better, let's take a look at them individually. The third dimension, the material world of fear. Because we are living in a material world and I am a material girl. Madonna pictures the third dimension pretty perfectly in her song. She describes how she will only go out with guys that have money to buy her things and how she fears losing her money once she got into that state of possessions. The third dimension is all about material, accumulating material and living in fear of losing it again. We fear to lose control. We fear to not be secure and to not be good enough. We don't trust people, because they could take our wealth away from us. So we try to reach power over others to be in a stronger position. We define ourselves on this plane by what we possess and what we do for a living. We believe to be separated from God and from everyone and everything. As long as we are not one with Source, we cannot experience oneness with all that is. We believe that death is something painful, dark and finite. We believe that we live one life and that is it. We believe this world to be a place of scarcity. Therefore we think we have to fight hard for our well-being because there is not enough for everyone. We think that life is supposed to be a competition with winners and losers. We think it is okay to lie, because everyone does it in this game. We are convinced that we have to be right about things. We believe in certain roles for men and women. Men being the strong nurturer and fighter women being the weak caretaker. This has been changing with the rising of the feminine during the past decades, but the true nature of masculine and feminine still have not been fully understood. With regards to relationships and sex, we believe that we cannot be whole without another person. We believe we need someone else to make us happy and whole. We experience joy in very rare occasions. In situations of breathtaking beauty be it in nature or during a sexual orgasm. These are the rare moments that take us into the now. The only place where the ego does not exist. We are so used to the ego that we don't question whether it is normal that we spend all of our time in the past or in the future. The ego plays the should have, could have, would have game in the past, or jumps into the future playing the let's create scenarios game. To be prepared for any possibilities. We don't see that the only real place to be in is the now. Humans in the third dimension crave physical sex so much because that is the only opportunity for them to experience the merging of masculine and feminine energies in perfect balance. That is the root cause for this desire. In the third dimension, we do not understand that this is where the neediness for a partner comes from. We don't understand that we can create this wholeness for ourselves. But, we not only can but must master it to access the higher dimensions. We cannot imagine that sexual desires can change from need to a sharing. In the third dimension, we have never learned to love ourselves. On the contrary, we were taught to believe that this is egoistic. The opposite is the case. Not loving yourself is egoistic thinking and is what keeps you from being whole and keeps the void within you alive. Energetically, 
The third dimension is a place of very low vibration and enhances the illusion of separation, duality and free will. Our higher self is not integrated into the physical body because it cannot handle the density and low frequency. It is connected with us through our spiritual body, but when our chakras are blocked, it hardly can get through to us. That causes the belief that we are separated from God. In 3D, we actually think that our life is based on coincidences and that there is no destiny, as we are not aware of our true identity, a spiritual being in a physical body, suffering from amnesia. As we incarnate into the third dimension, we forget who we truly are and get equipped with an ego mind that is only serving for this incarnation. It cannot remember any of our previous lives because it has not been there with us. Only our cellular structure and DNA carries memories from our family lineage, and our soul or higher self knows about our own experiences in past lives. As long as the ego mind is in the lead and our heart is closed, the connection to our soul is blocked most of the time. The communication with our higher self and the higher realms can only be felt, not understood with the rational mind. The ego mind is not able to process this amount of energy. As long as we are cut off, we cannot feel the truth, we believe our ego mind is supposed to be in the lead as it is oh so clever. And yes, it is in keeping us away from our true self and in keeping up the illusions. Every time our intuition comes through and expresses our truth, the ego mind shouts out, prove it. So we shut down again, as we are unable to prove what we feel. We continue to run around blindfolded, trying to figure out how life works and what we are actually doing. We believe we find the answers to our quest for happiness externally, outside of us. We adapt to the game and accept the 3D illusions as our reality, because everyone does. We suppress the questions about our purpose, our true origin and our talents and gifts. We must be mistaken to have these questions, because everybody else is living according to the same rules. If we would speak out loud our doubts and our true desires, we would just be considered to be insane and an unrealistic dreamer. So we just stick with the system, not realizing that we have been enslaved as our ego mind has been programmed with all kinds of false beliefs. We do not see that the whole system is a fake matrix based on fear. As long as people are in fear, you can keep them under control and make money with them. Lots of money. Insurances. Pharmaceuticals and fashion are just a couple of examples how a lot of money is made with our fears. And we need to make more and more money to be able to compensate for those fears. We think we have to improve our status. Again and again, to be good enough and earn respect. We don't even realize how much the material world, our possessions are controlling us and are keeping us in dependency. We need to protect what we have reached and make it even more to be prepared for worse times. In the third dimension, we are thinking negative thoughts and we are mistrusting everyone and everything. The illusion of duality in the third dimension allows us to experience light and darkness, good and bad, joy and despair, better and worse. We have the choice to act as saints or demons. That is actually the only choice we have on this plane, love or fear. Light or darkness. That is what free will allows us. As long as we are choosing fear, we are repeating our experiences and patterns until we learn to choose love. That is the beauty of the third dimension. Once we learn to choose love permanently, we come to enlightenment as our frequency raises significantly. That way, we overcome our ego mind's limits. We learn to let our heart and soul take over the lead in transforming our ego into a free spirit. We learn how the universal energies work and how we can create our reality. We understand that we had the steering wheel in front of us all the time. We just did not see it. We learn that there are no victims or perpetrators. There are only teachers that help us grow. We do not have to wait until we die to go into the light. We can do that while being in a human body. The fourth dimension, 
The Magical Dream World The fourth dimension is the dream world. It is also called the astral plane. It is a dimension that is less dense and much more fluid than the third dimension, but still hosts the illusion of duality and the ego is able to exist also here. It is the dimension of time. Imagine it to be a stream of energy hosting all events of one particular timeline. We usually visit this plane naturally during the night. Here, in our dream states, anything is possible. A mouse can be transformed into a lion, we can fly or breathe underwater, we can be in many places at the same time and have conversations with the weirdest creatures. Experienced astral travelers are able to access this plane also during the day. This can become so real that they are actually experiencing out-of-body adventures or intense sexual encounters. This is the plane that shamans and ancient civilizations traveled to, to find out more and connect to the spiritual realms. These journeys gave them access to the underworld and the upper world. Many of them use drugs and special trance ceremonies to get there. Depending on the energetic vibration of people, traveling in the astral plane can be a very loving and exciting or a very scary and fearful experience. Spiritual drugs will never take us above the fourth dimension. Nevertheless, traveling the astral plane can be very insightful to learn more about ourselves about our purpose and also about our fears as we can get into close exchange with our higher self here. No matter how far we travel in this dimension, we always stay in this particular timeline. On this plane it is also possible to tap into the collective consciousness and learn more from there. The astral realm is a place where light and darkness come into conflict easily. Dark magic has its place here. Dreamwalkers for example can influence us on this plane easily when we are still full of fear and have not learned yet to set healthy energetic boundaries, that is when we are able to create our own light and sustain it so that it simply absorbs the darkness. Most people do not remember their astral experiences consciously, which makes it even harder to detect energetic manipulations. The fourth dimension connects darkness and light. On this plane, we can protect us only by applying the energetic universal laws, as there are no human laws or regulations for control. On a side note, people of higher frequency are not experiencing the astral plane consciously at all. That is why they often feel alone or think they imagine their awakening and ascension, because they don't have all these crazy experiences other people get so excited about. These people's body frequency is already higher than the fourth dimensional frequency from birth on. Higher frequency people often experience an unexplainable fatigue during their whole 3D existence, because the difference between the dense 3D frequencies and the much lighter 5D frequencies causes a permanent friction and the body has a hard time to deal with it. They go through 3D programming just as everyone although they often have a much stronger feeling of this is not right what is happening here and are questioning and sabotaging the system often. A lot of higher frequency people look back on alcohol and drug careers because they are not able to cope with the density well and they are denying their spiritual gifts and talents. They just want to be normal and fit in at an earlier stage of their life. The problem Drugs and alcohol are of much lower frequency than their bodies, that can cause permanent anxieties and depression. Higher frequency people do not experience nightmares. They can have panic attacks and thought spirals before going to sleep or when they are half awake dozing, but their dreams, if they remember them at all, are taking place in 5D and above. Those dreams cannot contain fear or darkness as those are the planes of unconditional love. They are experiencing their ascension differently, in a much more subtle, heartfelt way. Once their awakening is initiated and they open up to their spirituality, the process usually happens faster than average, and they cleanse the 3D programming quite quickly as their system wants to return to its natural frequency as quickly as possible, once initiated. They are usually claircognizant meaning that all of a sudden they know things without knowing why. 
That is because they have access to other timelines and dimensions. Usually that happens unconsciously. They simply lose a few minutes and feel cold and confused after such an experience. There is no better or worse of being of high frequency or not. The experiences are simply different. The fifth dimension, the plane of light. The fifth dimension is the last one of pure light and unconditional love, that is source energy on the way down, before entering the realms of limitations and duality. This is the dimension beyond linear time, that means that many different timelines are available to access. Physical existence is still possible on this plane, although the body is lighter and of a different cellular structure. When the physical body is fully transformed into this structure, there is no pain. Further, there is no fear. It is the plane of unconditional love and abundance, manifest in the physical. Our higher self has been fully integrated into our physical body and has taken over the guidance. This feels very differently from just channeling the higher self. The first time your higher self moves into the physical body fully is quite overwhelming. It is an intense energetic flow of unconditional love and everything feels light and at ease. Before the higher self can be fully anchored into the physical body, the healing of all bodies, the mental, the emotional and the physical, has to be completed. Therefore, your higher self will slip in and out for a while until it can move in permanently. You will know when your higher self is integrated, when you do not question the universal flow and simply trust your journey. You do not feel the need to interfere or control that flow anymore. In the fifth dimension, all of our actions are based on love. It is the plane of oneness, where we feel the connection to everyone and everything around us, including the holy source energy. In the fifth dimension, we live in unity consciousness but still recognize ourselves as individuals as part of the whole. On this plane, we remember who we truly are and are aware of our eternal soul. Manifestation is easy and the life of our dreams is our reality. In 5D everything comes without an effort as we have rediscovered that the universal energetic flow always guides us perfectly. There are no limits. We live in complete freedom and authenticity. As there is no fear, there is no aging and no illnesses. We live as long as we want, until we decide to leave the body. This happens smoothly and without any pain. Living in 5D means living from the heart. We connect through our hearts and can feel the connection and love instantly. In the fifth dimension, our sexual desires change as we have reached our internal balance between the masculine and feminine energies. We have become androgynous energetically. Sexual energies can be experienced without physical contact with others. They can be created by the individual. Therefore, sex does not happen out of neediness or lust anymore, but becomes a sharing between two whole people that resonate on the same energetic level. Or it is experienced alone and is just as beautiful. In addition, the third energy. The divine energy is part of this experience and sexuality becomes the holy trinity in perfect equilibrium. It is the most powerful energy of creation. Therefore, it is not surprising, that sex in 3D was defined to be something shameful and sinful. To keep people from discovering their true creative power. Once someone has raised their own frequency onto a 5D level, the return to the lower dimensions is not possible anymore, unless the soul chooses it consciously. This was the choice a lot of star seeds and angelic beings took to help humanity ascend. People in 5D are immune to low frequencies as there is no resonance. They do not attract any darkness and live in the light exclusively. They cannot be seen by people in 3D if they have not already started their own ascension process and are open to the higher frequencies. That is when duality and linear time are dissolving and all there is left is a life in the now. All experiences are embraced with gratitude, as the soul knows that everything has its purpose for the own growth and expansion of consciousness. Contact to extraterrestrials and angelic beings becomes easy and is integrated in the daily experience.
we receive information directly from spirit and telepathy, teleportation and telekinesis become possible. The fifth dimension is the dimension of deep trust and an inner knowing that everything is happening perfectly. On this plane, we have learned to go with the flow and let Source work through us to create miracles. There is no need to be right in 5D, as there is no ego. Our ego has transcended into a free spirit and is working hand in hand with body and soul. In the fifth dimension, we do not take anything personally anymore from people who have not reached that plane yet. We know about their own baggage and journey and do not judge them or blame them but love them unconditionally, as we know they are part of the whole. We know that there is no danger, so we know that there is no need for protection. We know that our light shines so bright, that it absorbs the darkness automatically. In 5D, we live according to the universal energetic laws, knowing that we create what we think. There are no man-made rules or laws, because people fully trust the energetic flow and where it takes and guides them to. There is no need for possessions or status, as there is no competition and nothing to compare. Everything becomes a sharing. We just are. We love ourselves and appreciate our individuality as part of the whole. We know that our needs are always met and we are always taken care of. Gratitude is always present. When we live in 5D permanently we have reached a state of enlightenment. No wonder that it is referred to as heaven on earth.